So tell me about what's it like to be in college now? Mm. Well, it's in a lot of ways it's a big adjustment. In some ways it's not. Um, but on the whole, it's a positive experience. I am enjoying where I am. I feel confident that Holy Cross is right for me. Um, but on a deeper level, I guess, it's a lot more independence, obviously. You always hear that. And um, a lot more responsibility. And uh, a lot harder, obviously, with the classes. But I'm enjoying it because I, th I like the caliber of people and... Um, there's so many options that I just, I love how I can pick and choose um, clubs or activities or guest speakers to go to and um, the, the resources on campus are really great and the classes are really interesting. I've loved all my classes so far um, and I'm meeting great friends. So only good things to say at this point. Oh good, that's great. Now what would you say if, if I were to ask you, um, did you feel prepared for college when you got there? Did yes. you feel like you had a good, a good solid background? Yes, um, I would say definitely. There are, you know, several different ways. Um, I guess most clearly academically, I did feel prepared. Um, especially going into Holy Cross, there were a couple moments before um, school started where there were maybe some moments of doubt where... Um, it's such a rigorous school that I was just, you know, maybe was I the mistake that got in. Um, but I can honestly say that now it's, uh, now that I'm there and I've been doing the work for a semester, um, I feel fully prepared uh, with writing skills. Those have really been evident. Um, my writing's gone over very well this semester and I credit Bishop Grady for a lot of that. So academically, I, I absolutely feel prepared. Um, and then another important part is socially, uh, I was thinking about it, and like I alluded to earlier, um, the choices at Holy Cross and at any college really define the time that you're there, the choices you make, um, what you take advantage of and what you don't. And I think there's no other way to go about that than going into college with an idea of who you are and what you like and what you don't like already. and. If you don't get that knowledge in high school, I don't know where you would get it. Um, so I credit Bishop Brady a lot for exposing me to a lot of different things and giving me the choices um, extracurricularly and academically and socially to you know, try different things and see what I like and who I am. And I've gone into college much more uh, self-aware than I think a lot of people have. Um, and I credit Bishop Brady for a lot of that um, experience. Tell me about your college experience so far. Well, I, I went to, applied to a bunch of colleges and ended up at the University of New Hampshire. And although it wasn't my first choice by far, it was definitely something that I wouldn't have ever expected something else. I'm completely happy and I've been doing so many different things and meeting so many different people that it's really been a, a very pleasant experience. I mean, nice. A bunch of clubs, uh, tried some sports. Uh, what doing. are you majoring in? Right now I'm an undeclared liberal arts major, but I'm planning on declaring chemistry and physics teaching in the spring, as well as a Spanish minor. Oh, nice. Because they offer a five-year master's in education program. Mm -hmm. So after four years I'll have a degree, and the fifth year I student teach, as well as taking master's level classes, and then will graduate with a master's one year later. Very nice. Um, tell me about, you know, the, the uh, parents are always wondering, you know, what the benefits of having their child attend Bishop Brady. What, what would you, if, if a parent asked you that question, what would, what would be your response? I think the, one of the most common responses is time management, and that really hit home with me because whenever I'm sitting around, I'm at school, people are like, when do you ever get your work done? And because it, it, it seems like I'm never doing work, but the way that I set up my time is that I forget, I do my work while everyone else is in class. That way, when everyone else is out of class, I have time to spend with them or do other activities. So I get my work done really early. And so time management was huge. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I've been set up really well for 
I had an English class this first semester, college writing, and it was an honors level class, you know, very difficult, a lot of it very demanding, but I was I excelled and was one of my the top students in the class. Nice. From the moment you begin your classes at Brady, you know right away that it is not your typical school. The teachers push you in a pursuit of academic excellence and help to develop us as a total person. Looking back at all the things I have done here at Brady, all the people I have met, and all the lessons I have learned, here are some things that I now know that could have helped to know as a freshman. Be yourself. On my first day of school as a freshman, I thought all the upperclassmen were looking at me. I was really self-conscious. Now, as a senior, I can say that it, that is not what upperclassmen do. Just be yourself and do not worry what others are thinking. Get involved. You might hear this all the time, but it is true. One of the easiest ways to meet people is through a club or a sport. If you are worried about meeting new people, join one of the many extracurricular activities that Brady has to offer. Change happens. I was a person who hated change. I thought I knew exactly who I was as a freshman and who I was going to be. Now as a senior, I am just now finding out who I am. High school is all about learning, and many of the lessons you will learn are not from the classroom. Just remember that change is a big part of high school and good things came from it. Keeping friends. I have met so many people in these four years, and it is hard to imagine a day of school without them. The important part is realizing that friendships change in high school. Growing up does not mean having to grow apart. You never have to break a friendship in order to have different friends. The theology department plays a vital role in challenging us to build a school community through participation in prayer and sacramental celebrations, classroom discussions, community service, and retreat experiences. The school welcomes students of all religions into the Brady community. The school helps us connect academics with personal experiences in a way that proves enlightening for all of us. Bishop Brady provides a challenging curriculum, strong supportive community, and integrated service learning programs. Brady fosters accountability and responsibility within its students and engages the students in life-changing experiences through the values of faith, learning, and service.